Why am I seeing this ad is our topic of conversation this week on Hard Facts. Hi, I'm Samantha Cunningham Zabolinski, and today on Hard Facts, we're talking about the why am I seeing this ad feature on Facebook. So earlier this week, I was taking a look at some of our existing client Facebook accounts, and I noticed one not so happy comment on an ad. A customer was concerned about how they were seeing an ad when they've never interacted with said business before. And when they clicked on the why am I seeing this ad for more information, it had said that the advertiser uploaded their information in a customer list. Well, that is completely not true in this situation. So what is Facebook doing to provide clarity around this? And how is it going to affect you? Well, that's what we're talking about. So what this means is if you've been utilizing third-party data to be able to target potential customers on Facebook, even though the platform has removed it themselves, so partnering with agencies or businesses like Oracle, Experian, Polk, so on and so forth, you are able to utilize their audience networks to target new individuals you've never previously spoken with. However, in this set example, that individual clicked on the why am I seeing this ad, and because it isn't as transparent as it could be, it just told them that we uploaded their contact info, something that they believe we, business ABC, should not have, again, because they've never worked with us. So Facebook is working in their effort for transparency and clear communication to their user base. They're changing this. In February or the end of February, beginning of March 2019, there will now be an extended information section on why you're seeing this ad. And here's what it's going to do for us. It's essentially going to pinpoint the steps in which an individual agency or business is acquiring that customer's information. Have you ever been doing research on YouTube for a product or a service and been served a video that you didn't realize until four minutes later that you were actually watching a ad? That's an example of a great video pre-roll. And here at Potrats, we offer those services as well. If you go to YouTube and you're doing research just like your customers are, but you're not running any video ads, you're missing out on a huge opportunity to drive interest and traffic to your product. If you've got questions on video pre-roll or types of pre-roll that you could use for your business, give us a call or shoot us an email with the information on screen. We'd love to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation about how pre-roll can help you grow. So what you see here, for example, is when somebody clicks on why am I seeing this ad, it says that we have uploaded their information, when in reality, we have partnered with a business like Oracle, Experian, or Polk to receive access to data that that customer falls into or underneath. Then what happens is the partner, for example, provides an agency access to that data. That agency then uses that data for ABC Motors, for example, and then targets individuals on behalf of that business. And that's exactly what the update is going to do, is it is going to show those three steps that that data goes through to then hit you as a consumer or hit your ideal consumer. So it's providing transparency that no, we did not acquire your information via a purchase list or a third party data or whatever it may be, but instead we partnered with somebody who has your data and information that we're able to target you through. So you'll see this change evolve over the next few months and you'll see it happen at the end of February, beginning of March 2019, that this extended explanation and effort towards transparency on why somebody is seeing an ad is going to go ahead and hit the Facebook platform. So what does this mean if you're currently partnering with data sources to be able to run your Facebook advertising campaigns? Honestly, it doesn't mean that much except for there will be a chain and relationship showing that you may be partnering with a data provider, you may be partnering with an agency on behalf of your business to put this content and advertising out there. And that's only going to be discoverable when a consumer is curious on why they're seeing your ad. So it's nothing to be worried about. If anything, it will also help that customer who was a little less and happy that they felt we gained their personal information and realized we acquired it through our data providers but did not have access to their phone number, their email address, or their physical address. So again, just something to be aware of, know and understand the relationship between Facebook, data providers, agencies, and how your information is being communicated to your consumer base. That's this week's episode of Hard Facts. If you've got a question, comment, or data concern, feel free to comment below, shoot me a DM, or even give us a call. I'd be happy to cover your topic in an upcoming episode of Hard Facts.